Not only does North Korea appear to be defying the international community by allegedly engaging in arms trade with Russia, among others, the North's also making clear that it won't be giving up its nuclear weapons. Its latest statement on the subject came from Kim in chol a diplomat from North Korea's mission to the United Nations, speaking during a UN General Assembly First Committee session Monday in New York as South Korean and Japanese representatives called for the North's denuclearization, Kim insisted that won't happen as long as imperialist nuclear weapons exist. That's no major surprise for a couple of recent reasons alone. Firstly, North Korea just late last month amended its constitution to formally pave the way for strengthening its nuclear force, a fact that Kim pointed out. But the diplomat also accused the US of provoking a nuclear war against North Korea, citing its recent cooperation with South Korea. And keep in mind that Pyongyang's been particularly concerned about American cooperation with the South and Japan, as leader Kim Jong-un recently declared that their trilateral security cooperation poses the worst actual threat. So, you can imagine North Korea's concern about news from a senior South Korean official that reached us here Tuesday that Seoul, Washington and Tokyo have established a trilateral communication hotline to cope with North Korea's evolving military threats. The hotline announcement came after President Yoon sung yeol and his American and Japanese counterparts Joe Biden and Fumio Kishida agreed on the commitment to consult each other in the event of a common threat during their landmark summit at Camp David in August. The hotline's said to link the three countries' national security councils, enabling voice and video communication among their leaders and top security officials at any time. This development may also calm worries among experts and policymakers that North Korea, and China for that matter, could launch provocations while the US is potentially distracted by the escalating Israel-Hamas conflict and Russia's war in Ukraine. But in a separate statement carried by North Korean state media Tuesday, a researcher working under Pyongyang's foreign ministry was quoted as accusing the US of intentionally creating tensions by deploying nuclear strategic assets in Northeast Asia and placing cutting-edge military equipment in the hands of its allies. The researcher claimed the US is aggressively seeming to make it easier to carry out a preemptive nuclear strike against North Korea, insisting that nuclear war cannot be deterred and there's an urgent need to massively and dramatically strengthen our self-defense capabilities. Whether Pyongyang is just seeking a justification to do that or we're caught in a vicious cycle, all sides appear to be preparing for the worst.